Hi everyone, so welcome to the closing chapter of uh, the drop shot series. So as I've told you a lot about how to play the drop shot in different ways, I thought it's ideal to give you some different solo exercises that you can practice yourselves back at home and to develop some of the fundamentals that I spoke about in the videos, like developing more racket face control, understanding better where to uh, connect the racket face and the strings on the ball to create the different effects you need, how to be active in your feet and your footwork, which is a vital c component to being uh, good at the drop shot or having an attacking game. These exercises um, basically will encourage many different things. The first one is sort of like a little trickle boast, mini boast, figure of eight exercise that some of you might have seen before. You'll be looking to adjust with your footwork, twist and turn your body, and understanding how to hit the ball on the, the racket face on the side of the ball to create a bit of a continuous exercise. There's also an exercise where you're using the service line on the front wall to alternate between hitting above and below the service line. Obviously, each uh, area you're aiming for, whether it be above, is gonna mean that you need to get the racket face nice and open and underneath it and lift it up. And then when you're hitting below, you're gonna be coming down more on top and through the back of the ball. So again, giving a different effect to the ball, helping you become more secure and confident in the way you use that racket face to direct the ball. And it will then help you be more successful with the different types of drop shots that I showed you. The final exercise is a little bit more tricky, but it's great for quick racket preparation and keeping that stability in the wrist and the grip when needed under pressure or more speed. I'll be hitting one ball to myself really quickly and then looking to play the drop shot. So let's have a little look at these exercises. First of all, I'm going into the front corner, okay? And I will be looking to alternate between my forehand and backhand side. You can do all of these on the volley, but this series is solely focused on just the drop shot. So I'll be demonstrating it with a bounce in between. Okay, so looking to play the ball onto this right hand side wall here, then onto the front wall, I'm gonna alternate my feet and stance to that sideways position, keeping my racket head up, twisting and turning from my feet. That then gets my body in position. Bearing in mind my racket is staying pretty stable here and above the ball. It is actually just my footwork, which is helping me get into place. Okay, now this one here, I'll be playing the ball above and below the service line. And doing most of these exercises quite close to the front wall because that's more relevant to the drop shot. You can obviously do them from the back, but then you're practicing something different because the swing range is a lot shorter when I'm looking to get the ball to bounce into the front corners once I've stood here. Okay, so opening the back and face above the ball, bending nice and low in the legs. I can speed this up as much as I want. Above, below, I could also do it a bit quicker if I wanted to. Keeping space and distance and being very versatile with my feet. Okay, that's on the forehand side. The final one on the forehand side, I'm gonna be looking to hit the ball roughly around mid-court with enough speed or tempo to challenge myself. And then I'm gonna be playing a drop shot off of my own ball. This means that my racket head and preparation needs to be quite quick, but also simple, okay? And I'm gonna be lifting from my fingertips. So it goes something like this. Keep really active in your feet here. Remember, the better the exercise, the better the learning. So don't make it too easy all the time because then you're not teaching yourself. Let me try and just get that racket head up here a bit quicker. Picking it up myself, trying to make myself as active as I can be. Just miss the tin. Breaking a little bit too much there, so I'm going to stand my racket head through the ball, get a bit more feeling into my fingers, finish on a good one as always. Okay, so let's go around and have a look at the backhand side now as well. I'm going to start with basically uh, the quicker exercise where I'm playing the ball to myself mid court. 
Don't worry about mistakes, they're part of the process. The more you practice, the more they go out. See, my attitude has stayed the same. I've gone from missing my first shot to pretty much getting the target on the next three. So. And then to finish, here's my backhand demonstration. Below the line, above the line, below the line, above the line. Getting really low when I'm hitting above. Coming through. Okay. As you can see, I was super, super active in that exercise. It's also a good workout. Keeping yourself really active, really focused. Getting those feet moving is a vital component to making this as effective as possible. Good luck with your training, everyone, and chop it in.